Stars hosting the Coyotes, and the Coyotes are plus 310 on the money line. The Stars are minus 360. The over-under is six goals. The Coyotes getting a goal and a half are plus 130, and there are some casinos that have them getting two and a half goals. And if that's the case, they are minus 150 on the puck line. Now, for the Stars, they are minus uh, 155, laying a goal and a half on the puck line, and laying two and a half goals, they are plus 115. So if you get them laying two and a half goals, they'd have to win this game by three. Now, the Coyotes have lost their last two. The Stars lost the last game that they played. These are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow, but it's just food for thought. Before you bet on this game, go to a site like VegasInsider.com. It'll allow you to compare all the casino's pricings in one place, and then use a site like Covers.com. It'll give you how these teams have done overall, how they've done against each other, and then what players are or are not playing, although Twitter is the most accurate for lineups. Now, head-to-head, -head, the Stars are on a two-game winning streak. The Stars are 7-3 against the Coyotes in their last 10. The home team is 6-4 in their last 10. The favorite is on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is 6-4 on the money line. However, the underdog getting a goal and a half is 7-3 in their last 10. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including one out of the last four games that they've played against each other. The under is 5-4-1 in their last 10, and the under 6 specifically is 6-3-1. The last game they played, the Stars won 4-0. The game before that, the Stars won 7-2. The game before that, the Coyotes won 4-3 in overtime, and the game before that, the Coyotes won 3-1. to one. So if you bet the Coyotes getting goals in those games or getting two goals, two of them you would have won, two of them you would have went down in flames. But... It's neither here nor there. Now, the Coyotes are four and six in their last 10. The last two games that they've played have gone over. The over is five, four, and one in their last 10 games. We've had eight goals, we've had nine goals, we've had five goals, and we've had 11 goals. The Coyotes have gone into overtime or a shootout. One, two, three, four, five, six of their last 10 games. So they're losing, but they're losing close. In the last handful of games that they've played, they have scored at least two goals in every one of their last four, two, three, three, and five. For the Stars, they are three and seven in their last ten. The under is eight and two in their last ten games, and if you bet the Coyotes getting goals, you're hoping for a low-scoring game. We've had nine goals, five goals, seven goals, and five goals. The Stars have scored one, three, three, and four in their last handful of games. And in their last 10, they've also gone into overtime or a shootout six times. So I kind of expect this to be one of those games where expect the unexpected. I would take the Stars with the money line to win the game. I would take the Coyotes getting both a goal and a half and two and a half goals. And I'm going under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.